Hello, hello, and welcome back to my channel. I'm Daisy, and today I'm going to be continuing my gameplay of Baldur's Gate 3. In part one of my playthrough, Shadowheart and I decided to team up so we can figure out what's going on. So now we're going to explore the area and see what we find. Let's play. What's hiding here? A hat. <laughs> some gold and some fish. All right, let's come on. More of those wretched things. Better stay back. One strike could be lethal. Okay, let's see. Can I do a ranged attack? What's this stuff? Yeah! Best be on my way. Firebolts too. Could she do them here? Hell yeah. Got here. Okay, let's see. It's four to nine damage. Let's do more fire. Oh, that's his disadvantage. Just kidding. I'm just gonna stay here. <laughs> It says, take a short rest to recover half your hit points and some other resources. Open rest menu and initiate short rest. Okay. Anything or no? Oh, you don't. Okay. Let's go back up here. Can I go up this way? I can't. No. <laughs> oh, I can go up there? Ooh, potion of speed? Void bulb. Throw this alien bulb at a target and possibly pull in nearby objects and creatures. Oh, that is sick. I want that. Let's get back down here. Come on, Shadowheart. Some 
Belladonna. Can I open this? A flute? Oh, but I'm not proficient. I can take it. Thieves tools. Ooh, it'll enable you to open locks based on a sleight of hand check. That's awesome. I like that. Anything else up here? Looks creepy. Fuck's that? Hurry! Oh fuck! I've got one of those brain things cornered. There, in the grass. You can kill it, can't you? Like you killed the others. So he was watching. Easily stand back, kill it yourself. You look capable enough. Let's try to help. There. Can you see it? you want to keep that darling neck of yours and you keep your distance no need for this to get messy i need her alive stow that blade or i'll show you just how messy things can get ah, promises promises but i have other business i'm afraid now i saw you on the ship didn't i nod what the hell? Okay, I either nod, I can shake my head, or I can headbutt him. <laughs> I don't know. What to do? I kind of want to headbutt him or just nod. Let's try to headbutt him. No! <laughs> Let's just nod. And now you're going to tell me exactly what you and those tentacled freaks did to me. That's insane. So everybody was on the same ship. That's crazy. Okay. You have it backwards. They took me prisoner just like you. What in the hells are you talking about? Let me go and I might tell you. Don't lie to me. I... Your mind twists. You're looking out of unfamiliar eyes, prowling dark, busy streets. You try to hold the memory, but it fades to the worm. The light. The fear. Uh, what was that? What's going on? Okay, it's the Mind Flayer's worm. It connected us. I can either grab his knife, arm, and twist, or I can sleep free while he's distracted. You're not one of them. They took you. Just the same as me. And to think, I was ready to decorate the ground with your innards. <laughs> Apologies. Okay, apology accepted. I might have done the same where the roles reversed. We're glad to see we're all cut up now, or you'd better have more to offer than apologies. Indeed we are. Please, allow me to introduce myself. My name's Astarian. I was in Baldur's Gate when those beasts snatched me. Baldurian, introduce yourself. You're a Baldurian too. Tell him your name and your story, Nod. Is that so? We clearly move in different circles. So... Do you know anything about these worms? Yes, unfortunately, they'll turn us into mind flayers. I know we don't want them in our heads, or you know as much as I do. Hmm. Turn us into... <laughs> of course it'll turn me into a monster. What else did I expect? Although... It hasn't happened yet. If we can find an expert, someone that can control these things, there might still be time. 
So you control it, we need to get rid of it. You should travel with me, our odds are better together. I need to get moving, but you can shelter at my camp. I've wasted enough time here, farewell. Control it, we need to get rid of it. You should travel with me, our odds are better together. Yeah, so you too. know, I was ready to go this alone, but maybe sticking with the herd isn't such a bad idea. And you seem like a useful person to know. All right. I accept. Lead on. <laughs> He's like... Let's see, is there anything nearby? How much farther can I go? Oh my god, where's she going? Okay, I guess... Actually, is there anything back here? I think there's... It sounds really scary over here. There. A mind flare. And it's hurt. That thing's bound to be dangerous, even if injured. You approach the dying monster. This is the thing that abducted you. You could end its life here and now, if only you didn't feel... Compassion. Compassion. Is it trying to make me compassionate? Given to the emotion, this isn't right. Step away. No, you should be furious, shouldn't you? You look kind of bad, but it, it's like I want to try to figure out what it's doing. No, I should be mad. I don't know what it's doing. Yes, you feel hate, and you deserve to be punished for it. He should be whipped, made to bow before this creature in shame. It's possessing your mind, forcing you to love it. But then the feeling slips. The creature's mind seems to focus elsewhere. Okay, concentrate on, on its thoughts or take advantage of the lapse and break free. Minds fuse, lusting for something that is gone. But then its grip claws back with a vengeance, a vice locking your mind into obedience. It needs sustenance to survive, and with your very body, you can provide. Submit to the feeling, lean in as is for a kiss. Resist the intrusion with everything you have. I think we should try to resist. monster lies exhausted, defeated. Its eyes, wet orange pearls, radiate malice. Close those eyes forever and leave it to die slowly. Close its eyes. Oh, that is not what I thought was going to happen. I did not think that was going to happen. Monster. Death is too good for it. Of healing, a spiked bulb, and a white bulb. I'll take all of these. Might be more. Oh, you know what? Dead goblins over there. Oh. Worth checking for supplies, maybe. Take it. Goblin bow. Goblin scimitar. Oh, it's a weapon. <laughs> Broken. Not much use anymore. No hope of clearing this without a shovel. It's yelling. Mm. 
What's this? Just tells you where we are? Yeah. Okay. It's insane. different way you're shouting at just open the oh. bloody gate nobody gets in Sevlo's orders that pack of goblins will be on us any second what's going on goblins are on our tail open the gate Sevlo now you let goblins here where is the druid Please! There's no time! By the nine hells! Open the gates! the blade and suffer its sting oh shit oh my god there's a lot of people in this fight okay oh i'm a okay i'm a starian i think it has like the same two things that i can do what is this oh helping people i do Oh my god, I think I'm getting marked. Oh no, okay, hit him. I can't even see them over there. Okay. Can I throw this to anybody? Yeah, 
need you firebolt. Let's see me. I'm gonna keep the firebolts. Too close to be threatened. Damn. Okay. Wonder if the gods are watching me. Just keep throwing shit at myself. He's dead. Thank God. Uh oh. Oh, nice. Damn. Tenacious. I wonder what they wanted here, other than bloodshed. I just wonder if the grubby little beasts had any friends, and if they're nearby. Oh my god, is he okay? Why is he so... Is he okay? Oh, it's a difficult terrain. running for our lives you led them straight to us and you let them take the druid too unbelievable okay where there's one goblin there's 10 i'm leaving before the horde shows up one fight just ended and now you're picking another relax druid those goblins didn't take any prisoners you can cough up my payment anytime now 
rogue, it says, I've seen much bloody battles in this. Consider yourselves lucky. Hmm. What are they talking about? We lost him back at the ruins. Old place is crawling with gobos. He trusted you. Nobody forced him to go with us. He insisted. And when things got tough, he couldn't keep up. Simple as that. My God, you're a coward. Okay, if you want me to take both of you down, I will. Otherwise, knock it off. More violence won't bring back those you lost. Stop and think. Stand back and watch. Hmm. Let's see. Oof. Let's try to get to Jean. You're right. There's too much at stake. Worried about your precious eyes. The both of you. Enough! Squabbling is pointless. The goblins have found us. At least we agree on that. More goblins could be on their way. I'm more worried about this parasite than a few goblins. We need a healer. some garlic so this one elfin wood soles there's rags wow there's sandals I want these ones I don't think this that was close what did they go talk to far too close. forgive that display Aradin's a blowhard but that's no cause for me to join him thank you for your help out there I'm Zevlor well met. I should warn you, visitors are no longer welcome in this grove. Whatever your business, I'd see to it quickly. The druids are forcing everyone out. This attack will only strengthen their resolve. Okay, I have no quarrel with druids. Why are they forcing you out? Those goblins, have there been many attacks like that? I won't be staying long. I just need to find a healer. Yep. Goblin got you. The druid Halsin's a renowned healer, but he didn't make it back from Aradin's expedition. If it's not too serious, you could try his apprentice, Nettie. She's with the other druids in the inner grove. They've started a ritual to cut the grove off from the world outside. We can't stay, but we'll be slaughtered if we leave. We're no fighters. Okay. I've tried. Korga, their new first druid, won't even see me. You, though? I know it's not your business, but she owes you for saving this place. Perhaps you could persuade her for more time to prepare, if nothing else. Hmm. I'll see what I can do. Nah, what are you gonna offer me? We owe you a great debt. What little we have, we'll scrape together. It isn't coin we need. It's time. Okay. Really? We're messengers now. Oh, he's pissed. You'll find the druids at the heart of the grove. Please, make them see sense before more lives are lost. Better not be cursed. This grove is kept by Sylvanus's faithful. And you will wait for Corga's judgment. Now get back! Ugh! 
Let me through, Ragrasham, or I'll rip your damn throat out! <gasps> Give her a chance. You get back. <laughs> if it weren't for me, you'd be overrun by goblins by now. I'll go where I please. Why? What's so special down here? I'm not looking for trouble. Can't you just let me by? Ignore them and proceed or leave. Keep back. Force my hand and I'll yeah. show you its claws. A moment, Giona. What? Oh. I understand. You. Apparently, Korga wants to see you. Go ahead. Yes, I see. Ah, I do wish I could understand you. Sorry. This is madness, Korga. She's just a... A what, Wrath? A thief? A poison? A threat? I will imprison the devil. And I will cast out every stranger. Thief? Poison? What's this girl's actual crime? Imprison her? She's just a child. Do nothing. One of your guards outside you was... Ugh. One of your guards outside said you wanted to see me. Here I am. Girl, you mean parasite. She eats our food, drinks our water, then steals our most holy idol in thanks. Wrath, lock her up. She remains here until the rite is complete. And keep still, devil. Teela is restless. Shh. Come, Koga. We took back the idol. Surely... Do it. Okay, don't druids cherish harmony? Jailing the girl disrupts nature's balance. Release her. I'll see that she stays out of trouble. Detect thoughts. Let's see. Read cards. Keep silent. Damn. Let's see. Okay, let's see what they say. I hear the Tree Father's spirit in your words. It is as you say. Sivisif, Tila, to me. <laughs> Out, thief. My grace has its limits. <sighs> it hurts. Thank you, Korga. Master Halsin will- Halsin isn't here. Keep his name off your tongue, lest Tila pierce it. Do I need to talk to her? I know that look. You're wondering why I was in pain before. Let's just clear the air about that now. It's just an old wound that hurts me from time to time. Nothing to be concerned about. It's nothing to do with the tadpoles, at least, in case your imagination is in danger of getting away from you. It's just something I have to live with. Quite a lot, if I'm being honest. But it always passes quickly, so I can manage. Sucks. Positive. You can trust me on that. Okay, what's the story with that odd little artifact you have? What do you think of all that's happened to us so far? 
We should get to know each other a little more. We should journey separately for now. See you whenever we camp. Hmm. Hmm. We've been through quite a lot, with likely more to come. Care to narrow it down a little? We must have thought about our little stowaways. What will you do if we actually manage to remove the tadpoles? How am I holding up in your estimations? Go on. Say it. You think I'm a monster? Only a monster with threat and a child. You're protecting your own. Sometimes cruelty is required. Honestly, I just want to see what would happen. First you urge grace. Then you speak truth. You surprised me twice over. A shame the grace period ends. The viper's fangs have been bared. She must guard her brood. No matter. I took back the idol of Sylvanus, and the rite is resumed. We will seal the grove, free from harm, free of intruders. This rite must be born of powerful magic. Zavlar believes his people will perish on the road. Do what you want, it's none of my concern. Reach for your weapon and leave. And mine perish if he stays. You showed great metal at the gate. The metal of a skilled sword for hire. I want you to provide your services to Zevlor. Offer to guide the Outlanders out of the grove. I'm sure they'll reward you well. They're to be gone before final prayer. If they are not, the Viper must strike. Damn. Okay, so then it seems it'd be I'd best speak to then it seems I'd best speak to Zevlar. Prattle all you want. The refugees are my concern. Attack. Damn, I don't want to fight her. <sighs> okay, speak to Zevlar. Zevlar. Speak to Zevlar. She says shit. I'm gonna go speak you will to him. do more than speak. This Damn. This ends but one way. With the Outlander rot cleansed, and the grove forever shrouded. I see you. Just give me a moment. Damn. Just wait. This medicatrix. There. It's up to her now. Life or death. Now. What was it you needed? I do what I can. For most folks, that's enough. Come here. Let's have a look at you. You seem healthy enough. A bit tired around the eyes, maybe. No good way of putting this. I have a tadpole in my head. More than tired, something crawled into my eye. <laughs> right, yes, I'm very tired indeed. A tadpole? A mind flare tadpole? Okay, you know them, can you help me? I... Uh, I'll do what I can. Come. Follow me. I might be able to help. We need to be quick. This way. Oh. Head on in. This one had the same problem as you. Attacked us in the woods together with some goblins. Tadpole crawled out of his head soon after. Okay, yeah, the drow and I have the same kind of parasite. I'm hoping for a less grave cure. So you killed him and laid him out on the table. Has everyone been captured by mind flayers these days? Didn't think it was a common experience. Hmm.
rather too common as of late. At least that's what Master Halson suspected. A pity you got me instead of him. He understands these things, studied them. Still, we have options. You don't have to be here for this. Please, don't mind me. I'll just watch. All right. Let's see what we can do. Okay. It might. But first things first. Tell me about your symptoms. Have you noticed anything strange happening? I can merge my mind with anyone else that's infected. I fell from a ship in the sky, but something caught me. It saved my life. An intellect devourer spoke to me as if it, I were one of its own. No, nothing strange is one out of my head. Victims can identify each other. Not that the others know their victims, of course. How do you pick up the parasite? Halson was desperate to find where all this was happening. On a mind clear ship, I was kind of infected. Just woke up with it. Hmm. A mind flare ship? But Master Halson was sure. Look, you've been straight with me, so I'll be straight with you. You're dangerous. If you transform here, we're all dead. But you seem like a good soul. You deserve a chance to save yourself. This is a vial of wyvern poison. Swear to me, you'll swallow it if you feel any symptoms. She's not gonna help me. The thorn? Coated in a fatal toxin. It was a last resort. In case I couldn't trust you. I don't have a cure. Only a way out. I'm sorry for misleading you. But I had to be sure you weren't a threat before I told you everything. Now, do I have your word or not? die but you have to don't you understand you could kill us all then i've no choice <gasps> is she gonna hurt me i'm sorry <gasps> ah she's going to fight me Or something. Actually, no, I'll just hit her. Oh, wait, that's me. Oh, I can't hit her. Yeah. Oh. Can't afford to let up. I'm just gonna stay here. You know what? Let me get a little bit closer, actually. She's like fully healed. Are you serious? Step quick this way. Time to push my luck again. Okay, let's see. Damage. Let's do this. Analysis disadvantage. Okay. <laughs> been worse i suppose at least she didn't just attack can't blame anyone for reacting with fear but it might do to keep our condition on a need to know basis damn okay we can't tell anybody what happened okay this seems like a pretty good place to stop this game has been so much fun and i'm glad that now i have two party members to travel with I don't know much about Astarian, but he hates every decision I've made so far. So he doesn't like it when I help people, but Shadowheart seems to like it. Anyway, I'm really loving this game and I'm excited to see what happens. So until then, see you next time. Bye.